So the procedure will be that I will introduce each of our 29 finalists individually. Um, you'll see them come around the ring, I'll tell you a little bit about them, they will leave the ring, and then when you've heard all about the 29 lucky competitors, they will return and we will then introduce the judges and we will then watch the nail biting competition. So could we invite in ring dog number one, please, in the catalogue, which is the Bulldog, champion King Rock, Captain King. He's now three and a half years of age. He's owned and bred by Chris Thomas and Graham Godfrey and Graham is handling. They come from Stamford in Lincolnshire. He's the winner of 12 CCs, five reserves, and has 11 times been best of breed at championship shows. So thank you very much to Captain the Bulldog. Number two in the programme is the Scottish Terrier champion, Stuart Lillette. Flo qualified at the LKA where the judge was Becky Johnson. She's four years of age, is being handled by her owner breeder, Stuart Plain. They come from Seam in County Durham. She's the winner of 25 cc's, 24 times has been best to breed, nine Terrier groups and also a reserve Best in Show winner. So thank you to Flo, the Scottish Terrier. Next we have the, the Smooth Hair Dachshund, Champion Carpaccio Colia Diamond. She qualified at Boston under Anne Hardy. She's two and a half years of age. It's being handled by Jason Hunt, who owned and bred in partnership with Mother Sue. The winner of seven CCs, Group 3 at the City of Birmingham, that's champion Carpaccio, Colia Diamond. <laughs> Next comes Sid, the champion chief dog, champion of Jolly Mason in the Blues. He qualified at Manchester under Tom Mather and is now six years of age with owner, breeder, handler, Debbie Pearson, the winner of 39 CCs, eight group ones, best in show at three counties and Leeds. That was Sid, champion Edgelonian, singing the blues. The Chinese crested, champion Debrita Diaz, qualified at the UK toy under Richard Haynes. Now four years of age, she's won 50 challenge certificates, 43 of them with best of breed. She was the top crested in 2012 and joint top tie in 2013. Champion Debrita Diaz. Number six is champion and Irish champion Blackdale Julie. The Wire Fox Terrier bitch who qualified at the National Terrier under Ronnie Irving. She's owned and bred by Harry O'Donoghue being handled by Andrew Goodsell. She's a multiple best in show winner in Ireland and is now three years of age. That's champion Blacktail Julie. Number seven is champion, world champion and finished champion Allmark Fifth Avenue. Tiffany, the Australian shepherd bitch who qualified at Welks under Robin Newhart was owned by Neil and Angie Allen and Robert Harlow. She's the winner of 38 CCs, 35 of them with best of breed, 15 group ones, including the group at Crufts and the Helsinki World Show this year. So that's Tiffany, the Australian Shepherd. The Whippet champion Charles simply a lord. Troy qualified at Birmingham National, where the judge was Derek Smith. He's now five years of age. He's owned, bred, and handled by Jane Wilton Clark. He's won 31 CCs, three group ones, four group twos, and three group threes. That's Troy champion, Charles Fleet, simply a lord. 
the Basenji champion Tokaji Kentucky Blue, qualified at the May SKC show under Annette Oliver. He's three years of age, owned, bred, and handled by Trish Hallam, D, D. Hardy. Trish is actually handling, and they were co-bred with Jeff Gillespie. They come from Nettleton in Lincolnshire, now the winner of 12 CCs, 15 reserves, and was best in show at the Basenji Championship show, and is following both parents and an older brother who were also in the past Yukonuba Champion Stakes finalists. Number 10 in your program is the Lhasa Apso champion Zentar Morgan, who qualified at Bath where the judge was Colin Hastings. Morgan is six years of age, owned, bred and handled by Margaret Anderson from Coventry. He won four CCs, and that's probably down to the fact that most of his adult life he spent in Europe where he was handled by Javier Gonzalez Mendicote to become a multiple best in show winner. One of such wins came at the 2012 FCI European show in Romania. He was also um, a Yukonuba World Challenge qualifier in 2012. That's champion Zentar Morgan, the last episode. The Dalmatian, Offerdale Chevalier, Mr. Darcy, who qualified at Southern Counties under Ben Reynolds Frost. Owned, bred and handled by Jenny Alexander from Huntington in Cambridgeshire. Now four years of age and the winner of 43 challenge certificates, 38 of them with best of breed. He was best in show at the British Utility Breeds and has been best in show at five breed club championship shows and five times group one. He has now equaled the dog CC record for Dalmatians. That's Mr. Darcy, the Dalmatian. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number 12 in your program is the pointer show champion, Will Cremain, Ice Maiden. Flo qualified at three counties under Jinty Gill Davis. She's now four years of age, was owned and bred by Annette Siddle, and is being handled by daughter Amelia. They come from Ottery St. Mary in Devon. Flo is now the winner of 23 CCs, 10 reserves, and 20 championship show best to breed. She was reserve best in show at Blackpool last year, reserve best in show at Southern Counties this year. She also won best to breed at the World Show where she was group two and has won 10 group firsts. Thank you very much to Flo, the pointer. Another gun dog now is Ned, the Gordon Setter. Show champion, Loch Fain, and also approach to Glen Morangi. Qualified under John Ritchie at Border Union and is now five years of age. Ned is owned by Angela Phillips, Sharon Pinkerton and Heather Rose, was bred by Anna Weir, and of course it's Sharon who's handling. They come from Grimsby in Lincolnshire. He's the winner of 24 CCs and 15 reserves, was Group 2 at Manchester this year, and also best in show at the Gordon Setter Association Championship show. He's the top Gordon for 2012 and 2013. So thank you to Ned, our Gordon Setter. We now come to the Sarpe male, DJ, otherwise known as champion Asherway, ready to rock. He qualified at Blackpool where the judge was Liz Stannard. He's almost three years of age, was owned and bred by Andy and Heather Morris, and it's Andy who's handling. They come from Aldercar in Nottinghamshire. He's now the winner of 25 CCs and 25 best to breed. One group two, two group threes, and three group four. And in 2012, he was reserved top puppy of all breeds. So thank you to DJ the Sarpe.
Our next finalist is another pointer. This is Irish show champion Mulu Minstrel at Hockwood, otherwise known as Mork, who qualified under Stuart Mallard at Windsor, is three years of age, was owned by Sue Welsh, bred by Mickey and Jackie Collins, and Connie Hazeltine is handling. They come from Dorking in Surrey. He's the winner of two CCs and one reserve, but became an Irish show champion at two years of age, winning his junior warrant at eight months and a show certificate of merit at 15 months. Thank you to Mork, our second pointer. <laughs> Number 16 in the programme is champion Nikara Diamond Dancer known as Dan the Man, who qualified at East of England under Valerie Foss. He's now four years of age, is owned by Val Freer and Sue Smith, was bred by Val Freer and is being handled by Sue Smith. They come from Upwell in Cambridgeshire. He's won 13 CCs, 10 of them with best to breed, was best in show at the City of Birmingham show last year, also best in show at the LKA, and of course we all remember him going reserve best in show at Crufts earlier this year. Thank you to Dan the Man, the Samoyed. <laughs> Number 17 is the Bearded Collie. This is champion Victory Wind's Ghost Whisperer for Snowmead, otherwise known as Fame. She qualified at Leeds, where the judge was Albert White. She's almost three years of age. She's owned by Justine Waldron, who's handling, and was bred by Audrey Garcia and Jerome Payne. They come from Chertsey in Surrey. She's won five CCs, four of them with best of breed, and took group two at three counties on the day she won her title. Thank you very much to Fame, the Bearded Collie. Number 18 is the miniature wirehair Dachshund. This is champion Drakesleet sent Sybil. Not surprisingly, she's known as Sybil. She qualified at the Hound Show where the judge was Martin Sanders. She's two years of age and is owned, bred and handled by Zena Thorne Andrews. They come from Kempsey in Worcestershire. She's won 15 CCs and more than 20 bests of breed, has had several club bests in show, and was the Dachshund Pup of the Year winner with three group placings. In the same litter were three other overseas champions and a brother in this country with two CCs. That's Sybil, the miniature wire Dachshund. We now come to show champion, Irish champion, German champion, and international champion, Timo II von Wackenhagen at Kimax. The German wirehead pointer male who qualified under Mick Howes at the National Gun Dog. He's now eight years of age, is owned by Peter and Maxine McCulloch, was bred by Antonius Coahus, and is being handled by Maxine. They come from St. Helens in Lancashire. Now the winner of 15 CCs and 30 reserves with 22 bests of breed. He's won one group one in Rotterdam, an old group at the Bundesliga, and was also the winner of one group two and four group fours in this country, as well as being best veteran in show at the Breed Club Championship show. That's Dog number 19, Timo, the German wirehead pointer. Now we come to another whippet. This is James, otherwise known as champion Free Hamlet, Perfect Peers. Qualified under Jeff Luscott at Paynton. He's three years of age. He's owned and handled by Robert Hooper and was bred by Anne Prowse. 
They come from Bude in Cornwall, the winner of five CCs, three of them with best of breed, and at Boston Championship Show earlier this year, he won Group 2. James is only Robert's second whippet, and he admits that the dog has by far exceeded his initial expectations. So thank you very much to James Champion, Free Hamlet, Perfect Peers. Dog number 21 in the program is the Siberian Husky Champion Eskimo, Prince of Fallon. The dog qualified at Bournemouth where the judge was Jill Peak. He's now five years of age, is owned by Sheldon and Caroline Stout and is being shown by daughter Abby. He was bred by Peter Shakeshaft and they come from Radlett in Hertfordshire. He's the winner of five CCs and 11 reserves. He qualified for the Junior Warrant Finals at Crufts in 2012, and he was Abby's handling dog when she won the UK Junior Handler of the Year in 2012. Thank you very much to Goose, <laughs> champion Eskimo, Prince of Fallon. Next comes the Tibetan Spaniel bitch. This is Maisie, otherwise known as champion Malia Melissa of Starlands. He qualified at the Welsh Kennel Club where the judge was Ernie Patterson. She's almost five years of age, was bred by Lynn Short, is owned and handled by Pauline Bevis. They come from Yeovil in Somerset, Maisie is the winner of 11 CCs and 10 reserves. Was best in show at the Tibetan Spaniel Association Championship Show of 2012 and the Utility Group winner at Manchester earlier this year. Maisie is the first Tibetan Spaniel bitch to win a group at a championship show and the only Tibetan Spaniel to ever qualify for the Yukonuba Champion Stakes Final. So thank you very much to Maisie, the Tibetan Spaniel, Number 23 in the program is the German Shepherd Dog, champion Elmo von Humagrab, who qualified at the Scottish Kennel Club where the judge was Peter Jolly. Elmo is now eight years of age, is owned by John and Pauline Cullen, was bred in Germany by Heinz Shearer, and is being handled by Stephen Cox. They live in Weymouth, in Dorset, He's now the winner of 23 CCs and 35 best to breed wins at championship show. He's the breed record holder as far as best in show and group wins are concerned. Four times he's been best to breed at Crufts and has had numerous groups, group two and group three. He's currently also the top stud dog in his breed for 2013 and 2014. So thank you very much to Elmo, the German Shepherd Dog. <laughs> Number 24 is champion and American champion Chatelet Aradet Rugby. The Skipperke male who qualified at the city of Birmingham. He's now almost seven years of age, was bred by Carol Luke and Mary Dietz, is owned and being handled by Trisha Morley. They come from Lake and Heath in Suffolk. He's now the winner of 24 challenge certificates, 22 of them with best of breed. At British Utility Breeds in 2010, he was best in show, and he also won the utility group at this year's Richmond Championship show. Previously, he was best in show at the Breed Club Championship show in 2012. That's Skipper K, champion and American champion, Chatelet Aradet Rugby. Number 25 is the Saluki champion, Baghdad Karim. Karim qualified at Richmond, where the judge was Mariel Hathaway. 
He's now rising seven. He's owned by Anne and Steve Ham, Margaret Elliot Ross, and Paula Bachman Chato. Paula Bachman Chato is his breeder, and Steve Ham is handling. They come from Swansea in West Glamorgan. He's now the winner of 10 challenge certificates, five of them with best to breed. He was best in show at the Northern Saluki Club Championship Show, Group 4 at Birmingham, and has qualified for this event every year since he gained his title, three years in a row, which is a remarkable achievement. So thank you very much to champion Baghdad Karim. Number 26 is the Papillon Jan champion and Finnish champion Paparazzi Painted Lord, who qualified at Darlington, where the judge was Meg Pennell Carpenter. Now three years of age, he's owned by Jeffrey Davis in partnership with breeders Pat and Tom Irwin. His handler is Tom Isherwood, and he lives with Tom in Mark in Somerset. Now the winner of five CCs with all of them with best to breed. He won group one and reserve best in show at Welks this year, group two at Southern Counties and group two at Belfast. He was the top Papillon in Finland in 2013 and is a best in show winner at European Championship shows. So thank you very much to champion and Finnish champion, Paparazzi Painted Lord. Number 27 is champion Travella, Striking Steel, the Wire Fox male who qualified at Driffield under Jeffrey Davis. Owned by Victor Malzoni in Brazil, bred by Bill Brown Cole and being handled by Richard Allen. Now the winner of 15 CCs and would you believe 19 all breed best in show. 29 group ones and I think I'm right in saying he's now the all time best in show record holder. That's Oliver, champion Travella, striking steel. 28 is champion Minilea's Black Mambo. The Rottweiler male who qualified at Belfast where the judge was Paul Harding. Four years of age, owned by Robert and Donna Taylor, who also bred him and Robert is handling. They come from Wakefield in West Yorkshire. Now the winner of 14 CCs, 12 of them with best to breed. He won the group at Crufts, group three, group four, and has twice been best in show at club shows. He's also the first Rottweiler to help his kennel win the double at the Amsterdam winners in 2013. So thank you to Brandon the Rottweiler. And finally, as they say, we come to the Border Terrier male, champion Dandy Ho, Dr. Walter. Thomas qualified at the recent South Wales Kennel Association show where the judge was David Guy. Now four years of age, owned, bred, and handled by Kate Irving, who comes from King Sutton in Northamptonshire. Thomas is the winner of 12 CCs, 11 of them with best of breed. And this is the kind of fact that Mr. Irving would have pointed out. 14 reserve CCs, every one to a different dog. He's won the Terrier Group twice, and was runner-up to the winner of the Terrier Group three times. Top puppy in the breed in 2011, and already sire of two UK champions. So thank you very much to Thomas, <laughs> champion Dandy Ho, Dr. Walter. So we will now invite all 29 finalists into the ring. They will line up by these magnificent photographs which you can Uber are supplying and they actually get to keep after the competition, which I know are very treasured mementos. Uh, 
That's Captain the Bulldog leading the way, followed by Flo the Scotty, Connie the Smooth-Haired Dachshund, Sid the Shetland Sheepdog, Mia the Chinese Crested, Julie the Wire Fox Terrier, Tiffany the Australian Shepherd, Troy the Whippet, Elvis the Basenji, Morgan the Larsa, Mr. Darcy the Dalmatian, Flo the Pointer, Ned the Gordon Setter, DJ the Sarpe, Mork the Pointer, Dan the Man the Samoyed, Fame the Bearded Collie, Sybil the Miniature Wirehaired Dachshund, Timo the German Wirehaired Pointer, James the Whippet, Maisie, no, sorry, we've got Goose the Siberian first, then Maisie the Tibetan Spaniel, Elmo the German Shepherd Dog, Geordie the Skipperke, Kareem the Saluki, Jan the Papillon, Oliver, the Wire Fox Terrier, Brandon, the Rottweiler, and Thomas, the Border Terrier. Now, up until a few hours ago, the identity of the judges was a secret. Gradually, some of you have managed to get hold of programs, so the secret is a secret no more. Um, there are two gentlemen who have achieved incredible success in the dog world, each of them individually having piloted dogs through to win best in show at Crufts, amongst their other successes. So, are they lurking in the woodwork by any chance? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, will you give a big Yukonuba welcome, please, to Jeff Corrish and Michael Code. Basically, Jeff and Michael will just have a glance along the lineup of the 29 dogs. And once they've got their first impression, the majority of the dogs will leave the ring, and then one by one, they will have the chance for their individual hands on assessment. So that concludes that first glance along these 29 top winning champions for Jeff Corrish and Michael Code, both of whom are thinking, I would imagine, that this is not going to be easy. So 28 finalists leave the ring and that leaves us with Dog number one in the catalogue, which is the Bulldog, for the judges to assess individually. And the procedure will be that Jeff and Michael will handle these dogs individually and then watch them move together. They have been told not to confer, by the way. That's your bulldog, number one in the program.
And each of these dogs are being marked individually with points out of 100. Then we have dog number two, the Scottish Terrier. That's dog number four, the Shetland Sheepdog, uh, Manchester qualifier.
And this is the United Kingdom toy dog qualifier, the Chinese crested bitch, number five. This is the Wire Fox Terrier, number six, who qualified at the National Terrier. The Australian Shepherd Bitch, who qualified at Welks.
the Whippet, number eight, who qualified at Birmingham National. The Basenji, number nine, qualifier from the SKC May Show. Dog number 10, the last Apso, who qualified at Bath. The Southern Counties qualifier, the Dalmatian number 11.
the three counties qualifier. The pointer bitch number 12. Gordon Setter, the Border Union qualifier number 13. The Sorpe number 14, the qualifier from Blackpool. Number 15, the pointer, who was our Windsor qualifier.
number 16, the East of England qualifier. Number 17, the bearded collie who qualified at Leeds. The miniature wire hair dachshund, number 18, the hound show qualifier. The German wirehead pointer, number 19, the National Gundog Qualifier.
the paint and qualifier, the Whippet male number 20. The Siberian Husky, a male who qualified at Bournemouth. The Tibetan Spaniel, the bitch who qualified at the Welsh Kennel Club. The German Shepherd Dog male who qualified at the Scottish Kennel Club, number 23.
The skipper care, number 24, he qualified at the city of Birmingham. The Richmond qualifier, the Saluki male number 25. The Papillon male who qualified at Darlington, number 26. The Driffield qualifier, the Wire Fox Terrier male, number 27.
the Belfast qualifier, the Rottweiler male, number 28. The South Wales Kennel Association qualifier, the Borgitarium male number 29, which is our last Yukonuba Champion Stakes finalist to be seen by our two judges today. What's happening at the moment, the gentlemen on my left are doing their sums and coming up with the top pointed seven dogs and they will return for a second round and a second scoring where the final seven will be scored again out of 100 points but with the first round points having no bearing whatsoever. Okay, we have a final seven. If you'd like to make a note in your program, the seven dogs who are to return for the second round. Number one, the Bulldog. Number four, the Shetland Sheepdog. Number seven, the Australian Shepherd. Number 12, the Pointer Bitch. Number 18, the miniature wirehair dachshund. Number 23, the German shepherd dog. Number 27, the wire-haired fox terrier male. So our two judges now have to reevaluate these seven dogs. Again, it'll be done on a point system, and I am guessing that they're probably going to be moving these dogs a little more before coming to a decision.
right, so we're now down to a very, very high level of quality in, in this short list. So I'm sure all seven finalists would appreciate your support. This is number one, the Bulldog. Number four, the Shetland Sheepdog. Number seven, the Australian Shepherd. Number twelve, the Pointer. Number 18, the miniature wirehair Jackson. Number 23, the German Shepherd Dog. And number 27, the white-haired fox terrier male. So when both judges have scored the remaining seven dogs, they will all leave the ring. The calculations will take place and we will then announce the winners in reverse order as we are not bound by Kennel Club regulations.
As you can see, the boards are out. There are, there are five placings. Before we place the five, um, I would like to point out that at the World Challenge for the last few years, the Crafts Best in Show winner has been invited. Obviously this year, Ricky, champion Afterglow, Maverick Sabre, was invited. However, in view of the fact that he's previously won the final, I understand that he is not competing at the upcoming World Challenge. So in his stead, the reserve best in show from Crafts, the Samoid, will go in his place. So we'd like to invite into the ring on, champion Nikara Diamond Dancer, who will be the Crafts representative at the Okinawa World Challenge in Amsterdam in December. As I said, the five placings are to be announced in reverse order. So, in fifth place goes the Wire Fox Terrier number 27, champion Travella Striking Steel. So well done to Richard Allen and to Oliver. In fourth place, it's the point a bit show champion Will Cremain Ice Maiden flow with Amelia Siddle. In third place, we have the Miniature Wire Dachshund, champion Drake Sleet, St. Sybil, with Zena Fawn Andrews. In second place, the German Shepherd, champion Elmo von Hohner Grab, number 23, Elmo with Steve Cox handling for John and Pauline Cullen. So who's going to Amsterdam? Well, I'm hazarding a guess and thinking that this is going to be hugely popular because it's going to be a question of not Debbie does Dallas, but Debbie does Amsterdam. It's Sid the Sheltie. Huge congratulations to Debbie Pearson with champion Edgelonian singing the blues, Sid. And as I said, I think you can safely say that's a very popular win. And it's certainly a triumph for the pastoral breeds with the Shetland Sheepdog and the German Shepherd in the top two positions. Oh my God, oh my God. yeah. Yeah. So, our last presentation by Annalise to a, a delighted and somewhat dumbstruck Debbie, I think. Yeah. 
I'm not altogether certain Amsterdam is ready for Debbie Pearson, but we'll find out in December. Okay, so we're not going to have everyone hurtling around the ring, that could be messy, but I would like to ask the Shetland Sheepdog, Sid and Debbie, to do one final circuit of the ring before we do the pictures. Congratulations to Debbie Pearson and Sid. And on your behalf, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Jeff Corrish and to Michael Code for their judging this afternoon. There you are, there's your Yukonuba Champion Stakes finalist, one, two, three, four, and five, led off by Sid the Sheltie.